live performance, you take your bow, you go home, and the next ballet goes on. Here, the user has the opportunity to go back. The user has the opportunity to slow it down. The user has the opportunity to change the angle. I mean, and you really don't think about your dancing like that. The divide between a performer and the audience is blurred in the new iPad application that puts users in control of the choreography. Passport 2 is the third app from Twice Hearts Foundation that offers a new way to experience dance with new challenges for the creative process. I would say it's somewhere between a video and a game. That There's a kind of a creative uh, role for the user, which is different from more passive experience of sitting within a theater and watching something transpire on the stage. In a way, I have to let go a little bit of my control over the situation. He goes, uh, we're doing the part right now. Yeah, yeah, we're doing the right time. I think we're doing this one too. Okay, cool. It's challenging to try and figure out how to present movement to more than one front, creating choreography that functions 360 degree vantage point. It can become self-conscious very easily. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's safe. We normally have that barrier of an orchestra pit and a curtain. Here, we have none of that. So it's very raw, it's very uh, visceral for the, I think, user's experience. <laughs> There's a kind of an intimacy that the user will have with the artist. They come into our world a little bit. And that's a very revealing side, I think. All of a sudden, the stakes change because they're watching your every movement. I think that that is a part of a bigger transformation that we're seeing culturally, that people want to kind of get under the skin of the performance or inside the mechanics of it. I think the limitations of presenting dance on the iPad. It tends to dilute the intensity of the dance being performed, so there's something lost in that. I want to still see people come to the theater in order to see the scale of some of these productions, but I also want them to have that kind of up-close personal relationship and saying like, wow, I, I see like how high they're jumping, and I see how they're breathing. And that accessibility with the iPad, I think, opens up a different world that we strive to show on stage in a real theater.